Hey, what's up, guys? we 93 here, and I just want to do like a first impression video on Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z the demo. So, you may be wondering, uh, why are you uploading this the day before it came out? Well, I. Well, in Japan, it came out uh, like two hours ago. So, it was December 17th there, and it was about 12 o'clock. So, I was like, hey, you know what? Might as well go look on the PlayStation Store in Japan. So, I looked on the PlayStation Store in Japan. I was like, oh, yeah, it's finally there. So, I downloaded that thing. I started out quickly. And, well, not quickly, because I ended up studying with my friend for a lot of that time. And <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, so, when I started playing the demo, I it, pretty, it looks pretty good when you're first starting it up. Um... It looks pretty good. Nothing like big showcasey. Uh, some BGM was pretty good. Some of it was original, but once you actually start getting into the game, you real some of it is actually taking off Raging Blast Thorn, which I thought was pretty lazy. But I'm it, since the game is still kind of in development, maybe they're like finishing up the process since the game only comes out in like a month. Uh, maybe they're just <clears throat> maybe they're just uh, not putting all the B they didn't have time for all the BGM in yet or you know they're still they're still trying to spec like you know uh, bring it to its best so I, I kind of commend that for that um, another another thing I would like the presentation's actually very good um, so when you look at it it looks pretty good when you're actually in game like some people are saying it's not impressive but to me I think that's actually pretty impressive for a Dragon Ball Z game uh, although Goku I, I think I've already said it before, but his character model, eh, it's okay to me. I just don't, for some reason, it's the tan. Like, I know he's Goku, and he's supposed to be outside guy, but but in the anime and in the manga, he doesn't have a tan, so that kind of bothers me that he even has that. It, I, I don't know about you. It might it just, might be just me, but it, it just bothers me that he has that. Um, but if anything, if they just took that tan texture off, I think that would be pretty good. Uh, they did... Um, they actually did what I actually said they were going to do. Um, well, what I found out they were going to do from my other my other sources. They said they were going to have the original story, but you know, mixed up a little bit. So in the first four um, single player levels, it does do the main storyline, except like the first one's actually like a tutorial mission of like teaching you how to like move around and hit people and stuff. But the second mission still like tutorials, but it's more like you know, more in the special moves and defense and stuff like that, and you'll get to see Raditz and some Cybermen. So I'm like, okay, Cybermen wasn't here. It's all in Japanese, so I couldn't understand a thing that was going on. So I was like, uh, did they reveal his brother? And then, um, so they did that, and you ended up playing on to after that. I think it was after that you played on to um, Gohan versus Piccolo, and you had to face like four Piccolos by your own, and then Krillin, Yamcha, Tien step in and help help you out and it was supposed to be that was supposed to be Gohan's training but they're like you know what uh, let's add them in you know twist the story up a little bit I thought that was actually pretty good they actually twisted up the story pretty good for what I can tell you know maybe in the English dialogue I'll understand it better in my opinion might change it might be like the horrible but it actually came out pretty well from what I saw um, then you move on to Nappa uh, and then you, you end up having to choose Goku Gohan Krillin and Piccolo against him so, and I, I don't know what happened with the story right there, because I know by the time Goku came, Piccolo was supposed to be dead. So, and then you had to face Nappa and some Cyberman and I'm sh all that good junk. And I think that was the last one. Yeah, you only have four levels. Tut main tutorial level, Braddit, Snap, uh, uh, training with Piccolo, and then Nappa. You don't get to play against the grade 8? That's what I was wanting to do. I found that really disappointing. <laughs> like, I know it's not like something like you should put a big no-no on, but I, I just wanted to have at least one boss fight in there. Like, come on. Like, one boss fight at least. But, um, th I thought it was pretty good. Um, but they, the gameplay, it's... It's okay. It's okay. I can understand why they didn't have any transformations in there because, like, all every single control in there is with something. Like, you'll have something, whatever you press. I'm like, like when I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, let me see if I can find out. Uh, oh, some something that they can use to transform or something. But everything in there is 
used for something in the game. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I think the combat's a little bit too, too simplistic, but it's not too so simplistic that it's boring. Like, you can, um, like, triangle's melee now, and it's kind of confusing, and, like, when you ascend and descend, it's um, square and X. So, like, controls are kind of confusing at first, but when you actually start getting into it, you, uh, you actually start having fun with it. And like think it optimistically about it, you know, like I don't like when people think down on DBZ games they're like, oh, this game probably gonna be horrible. So they try to take every little thing they can. Uh, I try to look at the best sides of it. And they're like, well, the combat's good for being different, but it's not, it's not um, so awesome that it's like I like Racing Glass 2 combat better. That's in my opinion, but I still think it's good because, um, because in some controls it makes it easier to uh, give your Allies some health or something. So I think that was pretty good. Uh, anything else in there? So controls are good for this game. Um, so the controls are not too hard to master, but it's it's good for this game. It's good for this game. You gotta look at the bright side of it. Um, everything looks great. I just like it. Multiplayer. I didn't really get into multiplayer much because you have to do the single player four missions, tutorial missions first before you get into the multiplayer. And the multiplayer. Since barely anyone's on it, only Japan has it. Not many people are on, so it takes forever to get into a game. Oh, one downside on it, the multiplayer, so far what I know of, has to be four on four. That's ridiculous. So I, I just think that's ridiculous for a multiplayer to have. Oh, you have to have four on four. I didn't get to play it yet, but I tried going to a game. And they kept having like seven people, and this one would go out, and another one would come in, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's taking forever. So I just quit, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna make my first impression video. So all in all, if I had to give this game a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I actually give this a thumbs up because all I've seen was the Saiyan Saga so far, and I think they're doing a very great job on the game. Um, I know it might not be the best Dragon Ball Z game out there, but I do have hope for this because they plan to make this into a series so they can have Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z 2. So I actually have actually have um, some high hopes for this game. So I, I, I just, um, so yeah, try when you go into this game, I would say look optimistically at it and don't look at it at a downward perspective like, oh, this game's going to be crappy, yeah. Uh, no, no, just look at this with a positive thing. Like, look at all the positive the game. The positive, it's actually pretty fun. Like, I can't wait to start playing with some, with um, you got well, all you subscribers. Not all of you, but some of you. But I, I actually, I can't wait to play with you subscribers. Um, if you have a mic, I can't really, I'm going to be able to like yell at you and stuff playing for that. Because I'm like, ah, stop it already. Um, so, and then I'll be playing with my friends. I'll be, um, I'll probably be playing the multiplayer on the English version because I'll have to re-download it. I'll delete the uh, Japanese version. So I'll have to go replay the tutorial levels. So when you guys ask me to play and you guys have already done all that stuff already, right, I'm going to be like, ah, oh, sorry, I'm still trying to um, do all these parts. So, if I, so, oh, I forgot. Did I ever say I gave this game a thumbs up? Thumbs up? Never. I'll give it a two thumbs up just because it's a starting of a new series and Tenkaichi, it's actually way better starting than the Tenkaichi starting the series because remember if Tenkaichi, that was actually a very bad start when you think about it because that was like a kid start and I played it when I was a kid I thought it was good when I was a kid but when I play, replay it now I'm like nah this game isn't good at all but, so I give it a two thumbs up for a good starting of a series has great presentation okay gameplay but could be better um, has a great soundtrack for all the new ones, it actually has a great soundtrack. Uh, <laughs> you have the Japanese voice actors, they're just great. And then, oh yeah, I forgot on one point. The voice acting, like when they're doing the mouths, because you know in Raging Blast, all they do is just flap their mouths, like open and close, and I even try to go really fast at some parts or something. They actually try to move the mouth into the way of how they're doing the words. So I think that's actually, I, I have to give them a round of applause. So thanks for watching if you liked this video and for all news and all news updates and all that other good stuff Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, subscribe and I'll see you all later.